Hi, I'm here with another topic for today on how to get Frenchies to stop chewing. Most of you who are listening right now are probably interested in learning the simplest strategies that work for all dog breeds. Before I begin, I appreciate you taking the time to stop and watch this video. So when I first got my 3 month old puppy Frenchie, this is one of my concerns because I know some dogs can be quite resistant and incredibly stubborn. But I also believe that if their owners are supportive, they will be able to teach their dogs how to be controlled and handled by them with ease. So by the time he was 4 months old, which is my French Bulldog, he had begun to experience teething. It is natural for your dog to feel upset or in pain while they are growing their teeth. When they eventually grew their teeth, they began nipping, which might escalate to gnawing. So here are the lists I'd suggest using to get them to stop chewing. First is get them durable chew toys. This is especially important for puppies who are just beginning to grow their teeth. This actually promotes dental health, benefits for your dog. It may aid in the cleaning of your French's gums and teeth by smoothing and scraping the tartar buildup. Also, this type of toy stimulates their minds, relieves boredom, and is safer to chew than bones because bones can smash into bits that might cause splints in your dog's throat. Second is discipline them immediately. You have to initially be really perceptive when they are growing up. You should teach them not to chew on the shoes and furniture which are two items that they frequently do. You have to be the dominating one to correct them for their behavior as soon as they go too close. Also, allow them to leave that area and give them something to gnaw on to replace the object they are biting. Third is, place plastic over the object they are chewing. Even if you would want to spray something on the objects they are nibbling, like say, furniture, it can have negative side effects for your dog. If you attempt a different approach to cover the item they are attracted to chewing, in the meantime, they would recognize it no longer had the same texture and would consider taking other actions. Fourth is give them a good workout. You must understand that when they begin chewing, it is because they are bored. You had to fulfill their energies so they could rest instead of chewing objects. As long as you deplete your dog's energy, they will have no time for this and would prefer to sleep to regain its energy. Fifth is provide a nutritional supplement. All dog owners should be aware of pika, which is an issue that dogs experience when they consume foreign things such as rocks, sticks, or anything else that they can see. These problems happen when their health is deficient in minerals. However, if your dog is acting out of control and has become destructive, you should consult a veterinarian to determine the source of the problem. Sixth is eliminate any unsafe objects. Start your puppy's training as soon as you can. It is best to start teaching them while they are young so they will know what they can only chew on. Never play with them by biting, nipping, or chewing as a form of a play because you risk making it normal for them. As long as you begin training them when they are still puppy or young, as they grew older, they would be disciplined. Seventh is give them dental sticks to eat. If you don't have time to brush your dog's teeth, this could greatly help to reduce plaque and tartar buildup. Remember to only feed your dog that is appropriate for their size so that their stomach can easily digest it. However, as a dog owner, it is still your responsibility to maintain their hygiene by brushing their teeth so that it will prevent them from cavities when they get older. Chewing on dental sticks helps puppies and young dogs develop their teeth while maintaining the health and cleanliness of their teeth. Every owner needs to be aware of the need to avoid rawhide. The Humane Society and ASPCA both advise against feeding rawhide to pets since it is difficult for them to digest it. The last one is spread a risk-free odor. 
Most dogs would dislike anything with a distinctive aroma like pepper, herbs, vinegar, and spices. The majority of canines are generally not fond of anything that human scents enjoy. Even though your dogs won't be harmed by this, you should still take precautions when applying this smell on things they could otherwise chew on. Hopefully, this will deter them from doing so. I hope you learned something new from this video. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in my next video.